Welcome to Ashley's Total Body Workout with Dumbbells. We're gonna do two circuits each with 10 exercises. So get a pair of weights and a mat, and don't forget your water. We're gonna start with exercise one, staggered alternating uppercuts. One, two, three, begin. Position yourself in a staggered stance, meaning one leg forward and one leg back. Holding on to a set of dumbbells at your shoulders, swing from side to side, going up towards your shoulders. As you move back and forth, twist your body, and as you get comfortable, start to bend your legs and bring the weight down. As you uppercut, come up from the lunge. Always breathe out when you contract your muscles. In this exercise, that will be on the way up and when you swing your arms towards the opposite shoulder. Keeping your core focused and tense encourages you to work with better posture and works your abs and obliques much better. When you come up, focus on squeezing your quads and glutes so that your legs lock out and tense up. Remember to keep the legs slightly apart so that the back leg does not cross behind the front leg. Keep your head in front, twist the body from the abs, rotate from the hips, uppercut one arm at a time. Go slow so that you have control. Make a habit of improving your form for maximum results. Success is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Moving on to exercise two, sumo squat into a T. One, two, three, begin. Stand with your feet wider than your shoulders. Squat down and bring your arms in so that the weights go into your chest. On the way up, extend your arms straight out so that you make a T with the upper body. Keep the upper body perfectly still to engage your core more. Squat down 90 degrees or to a level that's comfortable for you. Always bend the knees towards your big toe without going over the toes. When you come up into a full extension with your arms, that's when you breathe out. When you come up, pause for a few seconds at the very top. Always keep your posture in neutral position, meaning you don't bend forward. Common mistakes to avoid. A, not keeping your feet flat on the ground. And B, not going low enough. This move firms your butt and gives you those well-toned shoulders you always wanted. You're working abs, core, arms, glutes, quads, and deltoids in this exercise. Exercise three is side bends. One, two, three, begin.
Stand with your feet slightly apart and your toes pointing out. Hold the weight at shoulder level on your sides. Lean on one leg. As you extend the opposite arm, extend the opposite leg apart, then do a side crunch, bringing your elbow and knee together. Breathe out when you crunch your elbow and knee together. And when you come down, only touch the ground with your toes so that most of your weight is on the opposite leg. Bring your arms up, reach up, extend, and crunch. Focus on the side of the body so when you crunch down, it folds at the obliques sideways. Keep your posture perfect, never bending down, never bending forward. You always want to bend sideways to do a side crunch. Reach up as high as you can and try to get your knees and elbows together. Common mistakes to avoid are bad posture, bending down, bending forward, and not bending sideways to do a side crunch. This move strengthens your core, tones your waist, and defines your shoulders. You're working abs, core, hip flexors, obliques, and deltoids. Moving on to exercise four, crunch, crouch, and row. One, two, three, begin. Stand with your feet together. Bend forward at the hips, but maintain your postural alignment nice and tall. On the row, extend all the way down and pull all the way back. You want to breathe out when you pull the elbows up and behind your back. Focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together on the row upward while maintaining perfect posture. Your knees should be slightly bent so you work the muscles better. Mistakes to be avoided are bad posture and flaring out elbows. This move strengthens your core and builds a sexy back and arms. You're working abs, core, biceps, rhomboids, and deltoids. Exercise five is an alternating lunge behind and high lateral raise. One, two, three, begin. Stand with feet shoulder width apart. Hold the weights on your sides at chest level with your palms facing each other. Do a curtsy, step behind and press up, bringing your arm towards your ear, keeping your elbow slightly bent. Return to the starting position and alternate. Keep your balance while stepping all the way behind. Slightly bend the body for a better stretch. Maintain perfect posture throughout the exercise, always keeping the abs tight. Step one leg at a time. Pause as you reach up and over your head and do a slight side crunch with the abs. Extend and breathe. The forward leg should always be facing the front, just like your spinal alignment and head position. Avoid bad posture. Do not bend the back leg. This move tones and shapes your legs, hips, and shoulders. You're working your abs, core, glutes, obliques, quads, and deltoids. Never stop fighting for your dreams. Moving on to exercise six, a standing crunch with one knee lift. One, two, three, begin. 
Select a weight that is comfortable for you to reach up and behind your head. Hold the dumbbell behind your head for added work. Your legs should be shoulder width apart. Alternate your knee lifts and breathe out when crunching your right elbow to your left knee and your left elbow to your right knee. Take your time, one rep at a time. Focus on your abs. Keep them tense and tight throughout the exercise. Try your best to crunch your knee and opposite elbow together and breathe out every time you do so. Upon completion of a crunch, stand upright, nice and tall, with your elbows apart before you continue again. Don't slouch over or rest the weight on your neck. Strengthening your core is the main purpose in this exercise. You're working your abs, core, hip flexors, and obliques. Control your mind, conquer your body. Exercise seven is a dumbbell swing. One, two, three, begin. Stand with your feet wider than shoulder width and hold a weight with both hands in front, arms straight and elbows locked. Keep your posture neutral throughout the exercise and your arms tense. Sumo squat, keeping your posture perfect on the way down. Keep your arms straight as you extend to squat upward and swing your arms all the way above your head, holding firmly onto the weight. Breathe out on the swing up. When you are fully extended up over your head, give it a little bit of a pause. Don't move your feet. Keep them flat on the ground and avoid bending your elbows on the top. This move strengthens your core, shoulders, and is great for shaping your lower body. You're working abs, core, glutes, quads, and deltoids. Moving on to exercise eight, a squat curl with side leg lift. One, two, three, begin. Stand shoulder width apart. Hold the weights in your hands in front of your chest with your palms facing forward. Squat with neutral posture and extend your arms straight down, lowering your butt down to the ground as much as possible. When you come up from the squat, curl and lift your legs sideways as high as you can. Nice and steady throughout the exercise. Go as fast as you can while maintaining perfect control. While doing the sumo squat, you should have your knees bent towards your first and second toes, but never over them. Squat down with even pressure on your toes. Make sure to curl the dumbbells high up into your shoulders and breathe out as you come up. Persistence always wins. This exercise tones your biceps and firms your butt and thighs. You're working abs, core, abductors, biceps, glutes, and quads. Exercise number nine is a squat and one arm extension. One, two, three, begin.
Stand with your feet wider than shoulder width apart. Extend your right arm parallel to the floor with your palm facing down. Hold a weight behind your left shoulder with your left hand and elbow bent with palm facing sideways. Squat with neutral posture and extend your left arm straight up, holding your right arm still. Squat up, returning to your starting position. Nice and steady throughout the exercise. Go as fast as you can while maintaining perfect control. Squat with your knees bent towards your first and second toes, but never over them. Squat down with even pressure on your toes and heel. Make sure to extend the weights all the way up and pause a little at the top. Your triceps and lower body are at work here. You're working your abs, core, glutes, quads, and triceps. We made it to the last exercise in circuit one. Squat, press, and twist. One, two, three, begin. Start with your feet wider than shoulder width and hold the waist in your hands with your palms facing forward at shoulder level. Squat down nice and tall. As you come up, press the weights and twist your body 90 degrees. Maintain perfect posture throughout. Squat as low as you can with neutral posture throughout the exercise, keeping the body tense while pressing and twisting. Breathe out on the press and twist up. On the squat up and twist, it's preferable to twist your leg onto the toes. Never bend the body forward when squatting down. Sexy shoulders and legs look so good on you. You're working your abs, core, glutes, obliques, quads, and shoulders. This is exercise one in circuit two. Let's get ready to rumble. Go a little stronger and pick weights that are a little heavier. Twist the body with a reach. At this point, you wanna keep your arms and body tense all throughout. Breathe out with every reach. Always keep yourself hydrated between each set. Drink enough water to wet the palate, never to fully satisfy your thirst. When lunging down, Make sure the back leg and knee go down a little bit and the heels come up off the ground a little bit. You know how to do the movements, but at this point, go stronger, a little faster, and a little heavier. Challenge yourself. The second circuit requires you to be a little more in control, hungrier, and stronger. Always try to eat half an hour to an hour before each workout so that you never feel hungry as you go through each exercise. If you're in a rush, you can have a protein bar or smoothie right before and during the exercise. That'll give you plenty of energy to push through the workout. Always remember, no goal was ever met without a little sweat. Ten more seconds. Now
Now we'll be doing a squat into a T. Make sure your posture is neutral at all times. Extend on the way up into a perfect T and slightly pause. Focus on your shoulders and traps. When you come up, extend your arms out. Breathe, squeeze, and pause. Focus on your quads and glutes. On the way up, with full contraction, squeeze the butt together and squeeze the quads tensely. You're doing great. Feel the burn of the shoulders and the quads and push it through. Don't let it win. When you squat down is when you give yourself a momentary recovery. Pull your arms into your chest, explode up and hold. Next, we'll be doing side bends. Keep your elbows locked at 90 degrees. When you reach this point, your body knows what to do. The balance should be a little bit better. So your focus here should be to go a little heavier on the weights and a little faster on the movements. You can do this. Your body knows what to do and it needs the challenge, so bring it. Be strong, be focused. Balance yourself really, really well. Keeping the abs tense will ensure that you work your core much better. Try to reach over your head a little bit more so you can get an extra extension on your obliques. And when you do a side crunch, that should engage more muscles. As always, keep yourself hydrated between each set with a little sip of water. If you're feeling hungry, make sure you have a bar or a shake to help you with balancing your energy. The sweat, the tears, the time, the devotion. It all pays off. Now we're ready to crunch, crouch, and row. Keep your posture neutral. Do full range on the row and breathe out on the way up. At this point, the weight should be heavier than the first circuit and you want to pull up as high as you can. Give a little pause to focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together. Go strong. If you can bend forward a little bit more but maintain perfect posture, then do so. That will challenge your body even more. Let's move on to an alternating lunge behind and high lateral raise. As you get to this point in the second circuit, step back behind a little bit further. Select weights that are a little more challenging, and as always, go as fast as you can but maintain perfect control of the exercise. When you work the body this hard, you have to eat well and hydrate yourself well all throughout the day. This will ensure that you have enough energy and that your body performs optimally. Focus on your shoulders, abs, and butt. Step and breathe. Focus. Reach and push. You're doing really good. If you're tired, push through. Tense up the muscles. Do a couple more. Push through the last few. You only have two more to go. You can do it. You know you can do it. You must do it. You will do it. Reshape your life one workout at a time. Now let's do a standing crunch with one knee lift. By this point, you are stronger, faster, and leaner. Go a little faster and try your best to crunch sideways into your knee. Lift it up high. If you couldn't touch your knee before, try your best now. Always breathe out when you contract the muscles you're working on. 
which is the crunching down position in this exercise. Challenge yourself. Go strong. Breathe out hard when you crunch down into your knee. This is where you need to step it up. Feel the burn. Push it strong, push it faster, but always maintain your balance. Strength, power, and courage. You've got what it takes. Next, it's time for a dumbbell swing. At this point, your dumbbell should be heavier than before. Squat a little bit lower, swing the arm down, pause a little bit, come up, and pause on top. Be properly hydrated and well fed, but don't eat too close to the time of exercising or you'll feel bloated, cramped, and full. Your body should exercise and exert itself to the max. Select weights that are challenging. Come up on the squat. Swing your arms up and to the front, holding them over your head. Be strong and push through. Now let's do a squat curl with side leg lift. As you come down, squat as low as you can with your legs wider than shoulder width in a sumo squat. Your toes should always be facing slightly towards the front and always track the knees over the toes, never in front. Squat down as low as you can. Breathe out on the way up. You can do this. Pull, lift up high. Very good. One more to go. You can do this. It's all on you. You've done it before. You know what you're doing. Push yourself through. One, lift, breathe. Two, come up. Three, curl up strong. Perfect posture. Four, Lift and breathe, five. You can do this, go strong. Push that burn back, push through that hurdle. Only a couple more to go. Squat low and curl up high. You're doing great. Lift up high, curl up high, very good. All you need to do is conceive, believe, and achieve. Now let's do a squat and one arm extension. Squat down as low as you can, extending one arm out, holding onto one dumbbell. Reach behind your head as low as you can go. And when you come up from the squat, extend your arms straight up, keeping the knees over the toes on the squat. Go as low as you can. Breathe out on the way up and fully extend the dumbbell over your head with a slight pause. Keep your posture perfect throughout the exercise. Go strong for 15 reps on one arm. Switch and go for 15 more with the other arm. For the squat down, you want to keep even pressure on your heels and toes without raising up on your heels on the squat down. When you come up, extend your arms overhead strongly. Breathe out. This exercise works your quads, glutes, and triceps. Keeping one arm extended to the side at shoulder level will ensure you're working your shoulders and also help you balance all throughout the exercise. Go as fast as you can while maintaining perfect control. If you lose balance, you're going too fast and need to slow down. Breathe out on the way up and always extend your arms over your head as high as you can. When you squat down, bring the dumbbell behind your head as low as you can. Now we're ready to do the last exercise, a squat press and twist. At this point, select weights that are more challenging. Squat as low as you can. When you come up, breathe out and twist. Twist a little bit further than the first circuit and squat a little bit lower than the first circuit. Challenge yourself. Make it worth your while. Make it so that you come out of this strong, exhausted, but so happy. 
Breathe, squat, press, and twist. You can twist onto your outside leg, onto the toes is fine. Squat low, press up high. Make sure you have perfect control on each and every rep. When you squat down, make sure you put even pressure on your heels and toes. When you come up, twist your body. Always stay grounded, but reach for the stars. Very well done.